Welcome to Cars Mation. 2024 Volkswagen Golf GTI The Volkswagen Golf GTI is one of a very select few automobiles that have been produced almost continuously for more than 40 years without deviating significantly from the original's laser-focused goals. The GTI is in its ninth generation in the United States with the 2022 redesign, and although having a more sleek and modern look, it still exudes a box with an edge mentality. A 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine producing 241 horsepower is paired to a six-speed manual or, for those who would prefer not to use a third pedal, a seven-speed automatic transmission. This combination provides motivation. All GTIs have front-wheel drive exclusively. There is ample space for drivers of all sizes, and the four-door hatchback design provides rear passengers with unexpected head and shoulder room as well as some room for baggage behind them. Though practical, the GTI's inherent sportiness is what really shines here, offering pleasant handling and thrilling experiences that aren't available for as little money at any pace. Even while the GTI has an ardent fan base that verges on obsession, new owners may easily jump behind the wheel and enjoy the enjoyment thanks to its inviting nature and forgiving dynamics. The standard Golf was phased out in the United States in 2021, leaving only the GTI and its more powerful sibling, the Golf R, which we examine separately, as the Carmen slash Hardon audio system, 18-inch wheels, a leather-wrapped steering wheel, a limited slip differential, and a 10.3-inch digital instrument panel. We think the upgrade to the SE is worthwhile because it adds a 10.0-inch infotainment touchscreen. The S has an 8.0-inch one, a cool illuminated grille, keyless entry, push-button start, and a sunroof. We would add the 380 equipment package, which is the only way to obtain the stick, since the six-speed manual is the best. Read our 40,000-mile long-term evaluation of a 2022 GTI S for an inside look at how the base S handles the SE and Autobahn. The standard cloth seats and plaid pattern of the GTI are to be replaced with leather upholstery, ventilated front seats, and memory settings for the driver's seat in the SE. That is not what we would do engine, transmission, and performance. A 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine producing 241 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque powers the 2024 Golf GTI. The output is sent to the front wheels via either a standard six-speed manual transmission or an optional seven-speed dual-clutch automatic, representing a boost of 13 horsepower and 15 pound-feet over its predecessor. In our testing, we drove a GTI with the automatic box. Its intelligent shifts allowed it to reach 60 miles per hour in 5.7 seconds, which is 0.1 faster than a previous generation Rabbit Edition with the same transmission. Our long-term Golf GTI S raced from 60 miles per hour to 60 miles per hour in 5.8 seconds with the manual gearbox, which is 0.5 seconds faster than its predecessor sharper reflexes and higher dynamic performance resulting from its updated suspension electronically controlled limited slip differential and brake based torque vectoring support that straight line performance the chassis tuning is in fact a steady in compromise with its skillful handling evident without the inconvenience of an unduly rigid ride in typical circumstances for those who are ready to spend more money on a more customizable and versatile chassis, the top-spec Autobahn model comes with summer tires mounted on 19-inch wheels. 18-inch wheels are standard. The adjustable adaptive dampers are part of this package. Similarly impressive is the GTI's braking performance. At 70 miles per hour, it only takes 151 feet to stop in Autobahn trim. Fuel economy and real-world MPG. Cars with manual transmissions were nearly always more fuel efficient than those with automatic transmissions 20 years ago. The most efficient Golf GTI now comes with an automatic transmission, so those days are gone. The manual extracts one mile per gallon in each category, while the EPA rates it for 25 miles per gallon in the city and 34 miles per gallon on the interstate. We believe that the small MPG disadvantage is well worth it when you shift for yourself. With the six-speed manual transmission, 
the Golf GTI S achieved 37 miles per gallon on our highway fuel economy route at 75 miles per hour. Interior, Comfort, and Cargo The interior of the Golf GTI combines contemporary elements with a few subtly elegant references to its legendary past. The golf ball shift knob and the characteristic plaid inserts on the top and bottom cushions, coupled with the red trim accents surrounding them, are the most prominent visual indicators. The front seats are also reinforced. The three-spoke steering wheel of the GTI is a well-known pleasure, including touch-sensitive buttons and a strongly curved rim. Although the gauge cluster display is 10.3 inches in size, we believe that conventional analog meters would work better in this application. Regretfully, some cheap finishes and stiff plastics taint the new cabin, which lacks the luxurious surroundings of the previous version. The new GTI's remarkable passenger and cargo capacities are further enhanced by a 0.6-inch increase in wheelbase and an inch overall growth. Infotainment and Connectivity The infotainment system of the GTI is controlled by a 10.0-inch screen on the SE and higher, and an 8.0-inch screen on the S. The huge screen has more features and is easier to see, but in practice, the touch-sensitive slider controls for the audio capabilities are difficult to use. It's a toss-up because the S has an 8-inch screen that is less demanding while still having modest volume and tuning dials. For USB-C ports are present. Thanks for watching.